Yo guys, welcome back, and today I'm going to be talking about COD4 cut content. If you enjoy, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to make sure you are watching as soon as my videos come out. And yeah, let's get into it. So, as COD4 was a big change for the normally World War II orient orientated series, a lot of stuff was cut, so this video will be quite long to say the least. So I'm going to start with, camp uh, with multiplayer and then I'll move on to campaign. So, let's start with weapons. The following weapons were originally in the game. The AG-36, the AW-50, the FAMAS, the 5.7, the FN-EGLM, the Galil, the HK-79, both the MAT-10 and the 11, the Mosin the Gant, the Bison, the PPSH-41, the M-21, and the M-72 Law. These weapons were all meant originally meant to be in the game, but were simply cut during development. However, that isn't everything, as it is noted that the AT4, a weapon that actually is in the game but was only used by NPCs, uh, is mentioned quite a few times. Also, the MG42 makes an appearance, but it is actually a direct copy from the COD2 version, so it's probably just a placeholder. And finally, the Uzi. Now I know you're going to say, isn't Uzi already in COD4? It is. But in the form of the mini Uzi, which is quite important because, well, at least in COD games, not sure about real life. That the mini Uzi has high recoil, low damage, low low range, and a high fire rate. The regular Uzi is just the opposite of this. Originally, create a class would have shown the attachment um, on the weapon in the menu. The M4A1 SOP mod was also meant to be in the game, but l like the AT4 was only used by NPCs. There were only two cut attachments, both of them were sights. First was the holographic sight, I'm sure you know what that is, so I won't go into much detail. Second, the reflex sight, which only would have been for the M4 carbine and the G36C. There are strings of code that reference cut equipment, such as a camera, a sticky bomb, a thermite, and a parabolic microphone, which, if you don't remember, was in Advanced Warfare and was kind of useless in my opinion. So what it actually did, and I'm not sure if, whether or not it would have done this in this scenario, but what it did was it showed silent shot on, shots on the radar. I see. It has a purpose, but I just found it just wasn't really worth it, really, to use an attachment slot for this. Remember, this is when pick 10 was still a thing. So, yeah. Anyway, cut maps now, where there were 17 cut maps, which were night versions of the maps Ambush, District, Overgrown, and Strike. And maps called Argon, Canal, Cell Block, Dusk, Facility, Forest, Hill, mansion, palace, rooftops, and suburbs. However, a few familiar faces were meant to be in this game, notably the maps Favela and Invasion are in MW2. If you ever thought that Invasion seemed to look, looked a little bit out of place in MW2, that's why. It was originally a COD format. Next, map changes. There's only three that we know of. Um, so first, the map district was originally called City Streets. Second, early versions of Crash had a had a crashed Black Hawk helicopter instead of a crashed Sea Knight. And third, the map broadcast was originally meant to be in the retail release and not in the DLC. Cut modes and killstreaks next, where we have first the modes tag, acquisition, and capture the flag were intended to be into the game, and also onto killstreaks, which suggests the AH1 Cobra was fully controllable in the game. I know you could probably put this more under vehicles, but. I love her. And the AC-130, which obviously is in the campaign, would have been in multiplayer. Finally, on the multiplayer front, is cut perks, where there are two to report. First was AT-4x2, which was replaced by RPG x 2 and a perk called Expose Enemy, which, if I had to guess, was probably replaced by the UAV. And if you didn't know, Killstreaks were added in COD4. Campaign next, and uh, I'm not going to cover everything because not all of it's really that interesting, but I'm covering basically everything that's relevant. There were 19 cut missions. This is the list in no particular order. Cobra Pilot, Descent, Designated mark Marksman, Designated Training, Helicopter Ride, Immediate Action, Parabolic, Sea Knight Defend, School, and That's No Sandstorm, Training, Strike, River Town, Zip Line, Wet Work, Art Gallery, C Night Assault, Pursuit, and Chechnya Escape. Now, changes to missions that actually came out. Right, first FNG. Now, this mission would have, sh 
would have featured a grenade throwing course, which was show, which was later added in the Modern Warfare Remastered version. And also, there was a second obstacle course, which is in the second second hangar, which is visible with no clip. Next, in the mission Death from Above, uh, from above en enemies would have been shown with blinking corners instead of boxes. Uh, you can activate this through console, console commands. And the AC-130 gunner would have had more voice lines, besides the one that he has in the final game, which basically going to remind you when the 105mm gun is reloaded. After that, the mission Aftermath, which would have been a lot longer than the minute or so it actually happens in our timeline, I guess. What would have happened is, is that there were objectives that read, get radiation equipment, locate commanding officer, and find secure overhead cover. No idea how what this would have entailed besides this, but yeah. Next, the famous All Gillied Up, which was originally called Zones of Exclusion and, in, and was set in 1995. And you would have held, had the Barrett 50 cal instead of the M21. Also, in the E3 trailer, Captain McMillan is depicted with Silence M4A1. This image is actually visible on the back of the game case. And finally, Mile High Club, which, according to some cut audio files, which I will put a link to in the description, the hostage was called Kriegler. Right, a bit more miscellaneous co content now. So first, the main US Marine Corps playable character, who's called Jackson, would have been called Michael Carver, because he's mentioned in some of these cut, cut missions that I mentioned before. Second, in the E3 2007 demo, Gaz was called Griggs. Now, that is not confusing in any way because I would not be surprised if the final character Griggs that we got was based off this and they just changed it around because they'd already recorded all the voice lines. There is an image that Infinity Ward posted themselves show, that showed Captain Price in the Marine part of the campaign. Finally, at the end of the game, there's some audio which suggests that Imran Sakaev's death would have been different whilst evading loyalist troops near a safe house at Grozny. Um, this suggests that the final mission would have been a bit different. I should probably mention this came from the newscaster, which you hear at the end. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and comment down below what interesting content I might have missed a cop for. And, yeah. Bye.